becoming a parent, we just think about it as something that happens. But actually a lot of people, for whatever reason, have lots of difficulty with it. And it isn't always something that people feel able to talk about. You know, they feel like they've got to be happy. They should enjoy every moment and just get on with it. But the reality is, day to day, people really, really struggle. You walk around and you see mums with the little babies and they're all happy and you think, why isn't that me? And what have I done wrong? And, you know, Failed. No one ever told me that the way I was feeling was normal for postnatal depression. I thought I was a freak, I was a real bad mum, I didn't deserve to be a mum, I went on self-destruct, I attempted suicide twice, very nearly succeeded. Uh, I've got a lot of scars from self-harming because I just felt so out of control. I wasn't realising what was happening to me. I was going down a really slippery slope. I was really, really anxious, I wasn't sleeping, I wouldn't leave the house. I was getting in a really bad way. Perinatal support service is about supporting women when they're going through that perinatal period, so during the antenatal period and up to a year after birth, where there might be any anxiety, any low mood for a prolonged period of time. So where they're feeling perhaps a little bit worried, they're struggling to get out of the house, they're not feeling the way they expected to feel. Our services are there to really support them with the difficulties they're experiencing. When you go into a mum's house and she's sat there, heavily pregnant, and you can just see the fear on her face, um, you know, she has lots of questions, the anxiety, and you can just slowly work with her. It's just talking about how she's feeling, what's normal in pregnancy, what's you know, normal for people to experience. Kerry was able to assure me that I wasn't on my own and that a lot of the ways I was feeling of what I told her was normal for this illness. Just to know that the way you're feeling is, is acceptable and it's part of the illness and that it's not going to last forever is just so, you know, such a relief because when you're in it and you're having these feelings, you think, oh my God, if I tell anyone, they'll think I'm a bad person, they'll take my kids away, social services will be involved and that's automatically what you think. I go and do own visits, we do initial assessments where I go and just get to know the, the families, the mums and the babies. Um, from there we kind of get a, a package of support together. That could be befriend of volunteers. Um, so the volunteer goes every week, every fortnight, um, supports mum in the home, just kind of having a cup of tea, having a chat, talking about how they've been feeling, what they've been doing and how they're getting on with this little, little baby. We'll discuss a plan and basically I can either, if mum wants to have a bath, just to take time out, Mum can go and have a bath while I sit down with the children. Um, if mum isn't getting out, I might suggest, shall we just go and have a walk around the park and have a natter? Um, the other thing I've done is taken a lady to a coffee shop. She's probably not even gone to a coffee shop for a year or so. Just to make them feel, you know, you're worth it. And if mum's happy or dad's happy, baby's happy. I thought life is like so horrible, like really hard because it's two, because I'm first time being mummy. Instead of one having two, it's really hard for me. And I thought, what I'm going to do with it, you know, like it's really hard. If somebody come in and helping you with the babies or what to do, sometimes they, they took her outside and, you know, talking and then they help us. And then they says, if you have any problem, call us. We are always with you and we will help you. The package of support is different for every family, but it can include things like accessing group work. So perhaps it's about meeting other people within their local area that are sharing similar concerns and feelings. People really start to feel a connection and feel less alone. So group work is really important. It was really laid back and everybody else had similar feelings as to how I felt and we all got on really well and also the, the children could all play together as well, which was nice. And we just kind of opened up and because everybody was was going through the same things it, it felt reassuring being able to go somewhere every week that it was safe to talk about things and safe to share out you know thoughts that I'd had having someone acknowledge it and say actually yeah you're going through a really rough time but it's okay by the end of the work what we often see is that people say that you know they felt a whole weight off the shoulders they felt not judged, they felt that actually they could start to talk about some of the feelings that they were having and realise that a lot of those feelings were normal and that made them a lot less isolated. It's not just about us, it's about our babies. They need to be in a happy and calm environment. It's not just about me, it's about her and for me and she's going to be having a happier mum now, a lot happier mum. I'm just a lot more calmer and I don't have a lot of the thoughts 
event in my life that I used to and it just has made me realise that I am a really good mum and I don't give myself enough credit. <laughs> Coming to the groups made a huge difference, so it's allowed me to know I'm not on my own and knowing that the way I'm feeling is normal for the illness I've got. For me personally that, that's my biggest thing, just knowing I'm not alone.